let us start with the next module that is module number 4 and we are talking about, about the economic environment in order to understand the global marketing environment. In module th 3 we have seen uh, how uh, integrated the world economy is, the various kinds of economic systems and uh, the stages of market development. In this module we will talk about the general agreement on tariffs and trade that, that was called as GATE and we will ta also talk about uh, the World Trade Organization. Now the basic assumption or the, or the basic reality is that when countries they export and import, recall various uh, theories uh, from, uh, from module 2, module, module two uh, of globalization, uh, when countries trade, when countries they export and import, both the countries are, are better off. But the only problem here is that as you can see from this example, uh, the problem between Brazil and, uh, and Argentina. Brazil wants to reduce uh, reduce the tariff barriers, but it, it fears that if it reduces the tariff, tariff barriers, then more uh, the import will increase. Uh, the import will increase unless Argentina also increase tar uh, reduce tariff barriers. So, although both these countries they want to reduce tariff barriers so that exports and import between these two countries can increase, but the problem is that both of them think that if I reduce, other may not. So, there, there is a basic lack of trust. Now, go back to the post World War II era. As you can, uh, as you can visualize, the, the world was destroyed and uh, uh, there were several countries that, that, that were involved in, world, in the Second World War. But then, there was a strong desire, uh, desire in, the, in the citizen and their leaders to rebuild this world. So, there was a conference that was held in Bretton Woods in 1944 and which established an international institution for monetary policy and they recognized the need for a comparable international institution for trade to complement International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. This Bretton Woods was attended by the finance ministries and not by representative of trade ministries because the problem was related to finance and not with trade. And after the, uh, in after immediately after World War, the the various countries they came together in or with the spirit to increase the world trade so that the world can become a better place to live. And they established International Trade Organization, that is ITO. This ITO was supposed to have statutory enforcement powers to promote free trade among nations through negotiated redu reductions in trade barriers. The efforts efforts to form ITO lasted between 1945 to 1948 because US government did not supported, uh, supported ITO and they announced in 1950 that they do not want to be the part of ITO and that saw the, uh, the demise of this organization. But still other countries they still wanted to, uh, uh, to continue, with, the, uh, continue with, this, uh, with this effort and they agreed to operate under an informal arrangement of GATT. GATT is uh, the full form of GATT is General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. GATT was signed by 23 nations in Geneva on October 30th, 1947 and that took effect on January 1, the 1st January 1948. Since 1950, GATT has succeeded ITO that is International Trade Organization. It provides, it provided a forum for multinational discussion to reduce trade barriers. And the main operating principle of GATT is most favored nation clause. It means that any member state of GATT, when they extend a tariff reduction to one country, to one member, it will automatically get extended to all other members of GATT. So, that is MNF clause. However, without, however, this GATT did not have any, any enforcement mechanism and in the absence of these uh, enforcement mechanism, many countries they negotiated separate bilateral agreement for various products like agriculture product, textiles and automobiles. GATT handled 300 trade disputes, many involving food and was successful in lowering trade barriers. Average tar tariff on manufactured goods fell from 40% to 4% over the period of 1948 to 1994. Average tar tariff declined by nearly 92% in the US 
between the Geneva round 1947 and the Tokyo, Tokyo round 1973 to 1979. Now, you see the outcome of this uh, of, of GATT, it, it is generally consistent with the Ricardian theory and uh, that the free trade appears to stimulate economic growth. You see that uh, the world trade between 1953-63 to 1963 and 73, it increased from 6.5 percent to 8.9 and similarly, the, uh, the world income has, al has also increased. Now, the various subjects that were covered uh, uh, under various GATT rounds. In 1947, the GATT round was held in Geneva and they were, uh, th they talked about uh, re reduction in tariffs, 23 countries uh, participated in that. Similarly, in 1973 to 79, uh, 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 the rounds went on in, in Geneva and Tokyo. The subjects covered were tariffs, non-tariff measures and framework agreements, 102 countries participated. In GATT's Tokyo round, they continued to progressively reduce tariffs. Average one-third cut in custom duties in the world's nine major industrial markets, bringing the average tariffs on industrial products down to 4.7 percent. The results were mixed for farm trade and they also went into agreement on safeguards. Codes, a series of agreements on non-tariff barriers did emerge from the negotiations in Tokyo and in some cases interpreting existing GATT rules in other breaking entirely new round, new grounds. Several codes were eventually amended in the Uruguay round that was held after the Tokyo round and turned into multilateral commitment accepted by all WTO members. The only four remained Plur plurilateral related to government procurement, bovine meat, civil aircraft and dairy product. Now, there were certain shortcomings that limited the GATT's effectiveness. One was GATT focused on lowering tariff barriers on goods and trade in services was not covered in that. But you see that over a period of time, the trade in goods uh, started reducing and trade in services in, in started increasing. GATT focused on tariff barriers, but by then many countries used non-tariff barriers such as quotas, standards, custom regulations to avoid infringing GATT. Intellectual property was not a part of initial GATT rounds and the loopholes in the multilateral system were heavily exploited and a first to liberalize agriculture trade met with little success. The last round of GATT that is called as Uruguay round, it took seven and a half years, almost twice the original schedule to complete. Finally, on 15th April 1994, the deal was signed by ministers from most of the 123 participating countries at a meeting in Morocco. It covered almost all trade from toothpaste to pleasure boat, from banking to telecommunication, from genes of wild rice to aid treatment. It was quite simply the largest trade negotiation ever and most probably the largest negotiation of any kind in the history of mankind. The eighth and the last round of GATT talks were called the Uruguay round. The Uruguay round lasted from 1986 to 19, 1994. They established an international body called the WTO and that took effect uh, on January 1, 1995. So, in this last round of GATT that, that uh, went on from 1990, 1986 to 1994, they decided to do away with GATT and to continue with the spirit of increased trade under the aegis of WTO, which came in, into effect on January 1, 1995. As of July 2016, WTO has 164 member countries. WTO has statutory powers to educate trade dispute among nations and has its own secretariat. So, it is a, it is an independent body which, uh, which has its own secretariat and that can uh, adjudicate in trade disputes. WTO is the new legal and institutional foundation for a multinational trading system. The main functions of WTO are to administer WTO trade agreements 
it provides the forum for trade negotiations it handles trade dispute mo the, it monitors national trade policies it provides technical assistance and training to developing countries and cooperation with other international organizations in the original agreement on on gat did apply to uh, to agricultural trade but it contains several loopholes like the use of non tariff measures import quotas and subsidies Uruguay round produced the first multinational agreement a significant first step towards order fair competition and less distorted agri sector Uruguay agreement included commitment to continue the reform these were launched in 2000 at required as required by the agriculture agreement objective of this agreement was to reform trade in the sector and to make policies more market oriented the new rules and commitment apply to domestic support to market access and to export subsidies market domestic support means subsidies and other programs including those that rise or guarantee farm grade, farm gate prices and farmers income so there are three types of boxes one is called as amber amber box green box and blue box in amber box policies that have a direct effect on production and trade have to be cut back green box me means measures with minimal impact on trade can be used freely and blue box means direct payment to farmers where farmers are required to limit production market access means various trade restrictions comforting uh, imports and export subsidies and other methods used to make export artificially competitive now it also provided exemptions it exempts government to support their rural rural economies it exempts de developing countries least developed countries and countries that rely on import for their food supplies there was an agreement on services also that is general agreement on trade and services it covers all international traded services example banking telecom and tourism etc agreement defines four ways or modes of trading services mode 1 services supplied from one country to another for example international telephone calls officially known as cross border supply mode 2 consumers or firms making use of a service in another country that is tourism which is called as officially called as consumption abroad mode 3 a foreign company setting up subsidiary to provide services in another country which is called as commercial presence and mode 4 individuals traveling from their own country to supply services in other that is fashion models or consultant official officially these are called as presence of natural person there was an agreement on intellectual property that is called as trade related aspects of intellectual property that includes copyright and related rights trademark marks including service marks geographical indication industrial design patents layout design and undisclosed information including trade secrets these trade related aspects of intellectual property they are becoming more significant and more complex why as the countries they move from manufacturing to services to knowledge now you will find many companies they are earning lots of money on the business models that are based on information gathering storage analysis and manipulation for example we uh, people across the world they spend lots of time in a day and lots of time in their uh, in their lives on the brands or with the brands such as google yahoo facebook and uh, whatsapp twitter and then there are others like amazon and and and, and so on and so forth i'll take another example there is a fruit by the name of apple that is grown and eaten across the world since times immem immemorial then a us company came a company that manufactures uh, computers desktops and laptops and mobile phones and 
uh, and smart watches to name the few product and it uh, named itself as Apple and it also got, got some kind of production on this name. While Apple is a fruit that is being produced and consumed across the world and also in India when a child starts learning English the first thing that he learns is A for Apple. Now, how this has happened? Also, you will not find many big names, many big companies having names like pineapple or guava or banana or plum. To understand the complexities involved, let us look at each of them in some more details. So, what is a copyright? It protects literary or artistic work of human intellect like stories, plays, poems, novel, letters etcetera, maintenance and instruction manual, published edition of works, photographs. Artistic works are works of fine art, painting, sculptures, cartoon, logo, electronic databases and computer programs. What are trademarks? Bona fide intentions to use in commerce, words, letters, symbol, sound, smell that distinguishes product of a producer from those of other producers. A stylized presentation, it indicates producer and signals quality. It is also used for consumer protection, it helps in advertising it helps in easier order processing and they can be renewed forever. For example, Coca Cola not in capital and they have a font also that is they, ha they have a copyright on. Kinley is an another trademark, McDonald is another trademark. Geographical indications, look indications which identify a good as originating in the territory or region or locality, locality where a given quality, reputation on or other characteristics of good is attributed to a geographical origin. For example, Himachal apples and Darjeeling tea. So, GI is used to identify goods having special characteristics originating from a defined geographical territory. So, you have Alfonso mango and champagnes coming from, uh, from France. What are industrial designs? Ornamental aesthetic aspects of useful articles, shape, pattern, color combination, they must have a visual appeal and articles must be reproducible by industrial means. Examples are pencil, cross section, so they can, they can be triangular, circular or hexagonal. Water or in hard and soft drink bottles, coffee mugs in different shapes. Then what is a patent? It is a right on the first disclosure of an invention. There are certain conditions for patentability. One is novelty, another is inventiveness and the third is utility. Why patents are required? For knowledge generation, stimulation of creativity and technology transfer. Some important patents are that of a calculator, a computer, automobile, printing press, elevators, air conditioning, camera, radio and television. What is a trade secret? It is a close, closely guarded secret related to production process. For example, Coca Cola. Note the advantage are there are no defined terms of protection. Recommended if you can manage to keep the process or formula a secret. This TRIPS agreement covers five broad areas. How general provisions and basic principles of multinational trading system apply to international property rights and it goes on and it also have special arrangements for the implementation of TRIPS provision. Now, as we have, we have talked about earlier, WTO has its own structure, it has its own secretariat, secretariat and it has its own dispute settlement for mechanism. So, uh, look at this slide, it gives the structure of WTO. So, this is the ministerial conference, now it has 
it has a general council meeting that is called a state policy review body. It has another general council meeting which is called as dispute settlement body and then there is the, the, uh, the in between is the general council and these two are part of these. And then there, there are councils on, on goods uh, for trade in goods, council for trade related aspects of intellectual property and council for trade in services. Now, you see that uh, the, on the two extreme, on one extreme we have council for trade in goods, on the other extreme we have a council for trade in services and in between comes the, uh, the council for intellectual property rights. It also has a dispute uh, set settlement mechanism and these are the these, these are the various committees uh, committees and how they work uh, within these wto meetings are called as development agenda so uh, the the doha development uh, agenda that is wto's ninth round called as doha development agenda or doha's round was launched in doha qatar in november 2001 interim deals in december 2005 to end farms export subsidies by 2013 prevented collapse of the last round of talks. Doha round of 2001 facilitated the way for China and Taiwan to get full membership in the WTO. These are the various items that formed agenda for Doha round. Implementation related issues and concerns, agriculture, services, market access for non-agriculture product, trips, relationship between trade and investments interaction between trade and competition policy, then there are items for anti-dumping and subsidies and regional trade arrangements. The takeaway is that this WTO dispute settlement forum is faster, more automatic and less susceptible to stalling than that was under gate. Once a country brings a complaint to WTO against another member state, there is a limited time in which this dispute has to be settled. Now, as every coin has two sides, similarly there, there are many advantages and disadvantages of WTO. But let us for, uh, let us for the time being concentrate on, on the outcomes or the achievements or the benefits that a WTO has been able to achieve. So, over the last 20 years, WTO members have agreed on major issues to improve the flow of global trade. Its membership has expanded to 164 countries and that represents over 98 percent of international trade. These are some of the major achievements. Revised WTO agreement on government procurement, it enters into force. On 6 April 2014, the revised GPA will see gains in market access of an estimated US dollar 80 billion to US dollar 100 billion annually. The second achievement is that WTO dispute reached 500 marks. The WTO's dispute settlement system enjoys tremendous confidence among the members. It is perceived to be fair, effective and efficient mechanism to solve the trade problems. Yet another achievement of WTO is the expansion of information technology agreement. WTO members agreed at the WTO's 10th ministerial conference in Nairobi in 2015 on the timetable for implementing a landmark deal to eliminate tar tariffs on 201 IT products valued at over, over dollar 1.3 trillion per year. TRIPS agreement amended to ease access to affordable medicine. An amendment to the agreement on intellectual property entered into force on 23rd January 2017 Securing for developing countries a legal pathway to access affordable medicines under the WTO rules. Yet another major achievement of WTO is the Trade Facilitation Agreement that is also called as TFA. It came into force on 22nd February in 2017 as the first multilateral deal in the 21 year history of World Trade Organization. 
the tfa seeks to expedite the movement release and clearance of goods across borders now after full implementation of T uh, tfa it will reduce trade cost by an average of 14.3 percent with the developing countries having the most to gain it will reduce the time needed to import goods by over a day and a half and to export goods by almost two days this represents a reduction of 47 percent and 91 percent respectively over the current average but the WTO has its own drawback. WTO has been criticized by developing nations, various environmentalist, non government organizations for allowing industrialized nations to have too much control over the world policy. The meeting in Seattle, US in 1999 was postponed as a result of protest against globalization. So, the basic idea of the consumers around the world is WTO is giving rise to globalization and it means that it will have the whole world look like uh, like one there will be no cultural uh, differences etc. So, the most recent negotiations the Doha round saw continuing disagreement over many issues such as reduction of agriculture subsidies, patents on pharmaceuticals and anti dumping between the industrialized and developing nations. So, to conclude where countries have faced trade barriers and wanted them lowered, the negotiations have helped to liberalize trade. But the WTO is not just about liberalizing trade and in some circumstances, it rules support maintaining trade barriers, for example, to protect consumers or prevent the spread of disease. So, this was, uh, this was about uh, the evolution of cooperative global trade agreements and then uh, we will move on to the next module that is module 5 and we are still continuing to understand the global economic environment. These are the references that uh, were used for these slides and you can go through them for further understanding of, of these.